kind of switching gears for a second, uh, you have a book coming up, Unsaid Things. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, McFly, McFly USA underscore underscore says, who came up with the idea for Unsaid Things? Well, we've always talked, like, there's so many stories. I haven't been in a band for 10 years, no, nine years. There's obviously a lot of stuff that goes on. And so we've always joked, like, over the years, been like, you know, stuff which you can't say, and you'd be like, oh, we'll save it for the book. And we then, uh, the and we just thought, yeah, it's kind of, there was just talk of doing it, and we had an offer from a, a publishing company, said, we'd, you know, we'd, we'd be interested, and we're like, yeah, well, maybe it's time to, maybe it's time to tell some of those, some of the stories. Lots of great stories, lots of great pictures, stuff that people haven't seen before. Yeah, well, I think it was important for us, because, uh, you know, there are other bands in the UK that, are, you know, share similar fans to, uh, you know, share a similar demographic, but, and they all had books out after like a couple of months into their careers and stuff and we never wanted to do that we almost had a book out after a couple of years after we'd been about for a couple of years but we just thought it was a bit naff and didn't do it and uh in hindsight, hindsight we probably should have done yeah have, you should have put together that sticker photo book yeah but now <laughs> we didn't want to do something like that we didn't want it to just be like our oh, book with loads of pictures and then a couple of you know little tame, yeah, tame stories we wanted it to be you know our autobiography and tell uh, exactly how it happened and, and it from directly from us and that's the problem you see because when we did first start all our fans we would just see the whole time you'd either be signing your album sleeve or this book this mcfly unofficial book right and it was really annoying because we yeah i mean you just knew that it was just some pe someone's just trying to cash in off the back of us and it was just just pictures of us basically with pointless facts like what's our favorite meal and so like the questions i'm asking today <laughs> <laughs> so now we feel like we've actually told a you know this a story of, of it's nearly well it is it's 10 or 11 years long this story because of, it goes right back to when tom first met you know danny and that's a long time ago so and it's going to be out by christmas yeah in, the UK. in october i think october. Um, next, uh, Emmy, Emmy Patton, one, uh, is there a song by another artist which you wish you'd have written? There's a lot. There's a lot. There's you, a, a if lot. you don't have one, it's all right. Happy birthday. Happy, that's, that's the money maker. PRS check. That's a ton of money. But is that, does someone actually get PRS off of day. happy birthday? It's yeah. sung everywhere. It's not actually on radio or like Okay, what about the national anthem? During the Olympics, yeah, you make a fortune in the Olympics yeah. Yeah. on the World Cup. Well, well if you wrote the American national anthem <laughs> or the Chinese one, because they won the most medals, so yeah. we sung the most. Oh, in England, didn't do too bad. Uh, we heard. Well, we've been listening to lots of good tunes, no. like we said, on your radio stations. So, uh, if I met a genie, one of my wishes would be to have this a magic guitar, and whatever song I played on that guitar, it completely erased it from history and. I had written it there and yes. there. Do you have to play it accurately though, or does it become yeah, your really version of it? The only problem really is, Dougie. That's, that's the that's the, the the beauty of it is that you have to learn all the songs before. Yeah. Sometimes great songs that you think, oh, you know, you can't remember quite how it goes or quite how the verse goes, so you have to rewrite the verse or well, like rewrite the with lyrics. With great power comes great responsibility. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah, but also true. like what makes great songs great sometimes are like when they were released and the yeah. situation around and it. So you might artist, have this song, which is a huge song that you've now written, but top, no one cares about. And it the anymore. artist that sings them, like you doing "Simply the Best" by Tina Turner, not quite the same thing. I yeah, but I wouldn't do that. You'd see that that Bob Marley picture slowly fading like <laughs> it's back, to, back, to, back to the future. <laughs> That you're, that's, I'm sure a lot of music fans will be disgusted by that. But they wouldn't know because that's part of the, the, well, they the, now the, know. the genie's wish. They, know. Like they wouldn't know. Who it's a race from history. Um, <laughs> uh, Star Kid McFlyer says, how would you describe the sound of your new album, if you can even describe the sound? It's such a, a question that everyone asks, but last for the last album, there was a kind of sound. In yeah, course. and it was different to all our other, other stuff. Whereas this, this album, I think, feels a lot more how... I am because even in my head the last album didn't really f it felt like a departure from our normal stuff. It was, but it was good. Yeah, but I, you know, I'm not saying that was a bad thing, but I think we could even tell that it was like that. Whereas on this new stuff, I it, for me it just sounds exactly how McFly sound. Yeah, it's just very live as well. It's very much how we would do it, like in the studio, the four. Yeah, of you. yeah. Um, all right. Next, McFly Metro says, "Love is easy" sounds like a song Tom played on web chat called Eastern Side. 
Were they written around the same time? But you said you did this a couple weeks ago. Well, yeah, yeah, the verse is actually that verse from that song. And That's I, why it sounds And familiar. I rewrote it, yeah, for this. What's Eastern Side? It's a song that was what the Love Is Easy was originally. From the East Side? No, it goes... <laughs> On the uh, Eastern Side. Side. Something like that. I played it to you ages ago. Looking at the sky, oh, I, I see the sunset on the Where's eastern the side. Well, that was what I rewrote. I oh, know, but what's the the verse? So you wrote the verse of Lo- "Love Is Easy." Oh no, that wasn't that song. That was the other one. That's um. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, uh, what's the verse? Yeah. Um, yeah. Hypnotized. That was that verse. Yeah. So That's another wrong. whole other song. So they're wrong. But yes, yeah, so they're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. We're sorry, McFly Metro. Don't. Very good trivia, though. Yeah. This good trivia. Um, M Magdalena G says, "Will, uh, will have the, will the new album have collaborations with other artists?" Um, it's not really. At the moment, thing, it doesn't know, no, but yeah. it, they're open possible. to the idea. If Springsteen yeah, yeah. wants to call. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Why not? Yeah. If, if we're available. Pointer with five R's at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I know that girl on Twitter. Courtney, as a Courtney. Uh, what inspired you to get the YMC tattoos? They're amazing. YMCA uh, tattoos. Yeah, don't forget the well, well, never get the end. With the way this one's going, it's not going to be. Just be YMC. What's uh, happening? It's to your got player? infected and dry. Uh, I, oh, that's not good. When we played the show uh, afterwards, I took my sock off, and half of the tattoo was kind of stuck to the sock. Okay. So it's just mm. gonna. It might it be another letter in a couple of days. Yeah. Mm. But is there is there a meaning behind it? Well, them? we like the song YMCA. We find it. You like to we, stay at the YMCA. Well, we yeah. find it catchy and amusing. And well, we, what better way to come out? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Really, to be honest. And then we 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 often have it play it before we go out, just to get before people in the out. mood. Do you really? Before we come, yeah, we you generally know. Yeah, well, often, no, because you know it's show. such a great crowd participation song. Like everyone goes. You'll see it tonight if you just don't watch the show. Yeah, I'm not sure how much BS I'm getting. No, this is generally yeah, this true. Is true. It's, oh, it's the true. truth. It's always the last song that we plays out in the crowd before we come on stage. So oh. people, so people know that yeah. the next song is us. It's just, just, it's a shame. It's, it is a shame that it's like 15 minutes long, though. It is a long. It's song. really long. You probably picked the long version of the song. There's a shorter version. It's only like three and a half minutes. Oh yeah, we've got the. So we've you got. You know all about YMCA. Yeah. Yeah. I often stay at the. Exactly. <laughs>